So whenever companies reach out to me and ask me to review products, the first thing I think of is, can I use this product or will it help other people that watch this channel? And I think this multimeter is definitely one of those tools. So this multimeter is by Testman and the Testman people reached out to me and wanted me to review this multimeter and as soon as they did, I read a little bit about the meter and I was like, oh yeah, send me one because I think this would be great for homeowners. So a little while back, I put out a video about tools that I suggest homeowners should have in order to do basic electrical work around their home. And I also showed how to use a voltmeter or a multimeter to measure voltage or continuity. So in the video, I showed how to use some of those settings, but what's nice about this multimeter is it pretty much takes the guesswork out of everything. They actually thought a little bit about this multimeter. They give you the user manual. The multimeter actually has this rubber protective case around it. Actually gave you Duracell batteries, that's nice. And of course your probes and then a storage case. To install the batteries, you'll just take the protective cover off the multimeter. One screw opens the battery compartment. Throw your batteries in. Close up the battery compartment door and throw your protective cover back on. Hold the red button to turn it on. The probes are pretty straightforward. Black to black, red to red. Make sure they run all the way. This does come with a background light and it comes with its own flashlight. So you can see that black arc at the top. From left to right, you have your AC voltage, your DC voltage, your resistance, and then a continuity tester. So you remember from some of my other videos, this side is the neutral, the one that has the larger opening. It'll be your neutral, the smaller opening is the hot, and of course the opening at the bottom is your ground. So you can see on the meter, it's reading 123.7 volts. So you remember how that little arrow was searching, just going back and forth? As soon as it knows what you're detecting, it'll just stay on whatever voltage or the continuity or the resistance that you're detecting. It kind of does take the guesswork out of what you're doing, but you still should know what you're actually measuring. And without having to switch ranges, it'll automatically detect if you're measuring a 120 volt outlet or a 240 volt outlet. So I'm getting 20 and a half volts. You can see once again, as soon as it knows what you're measuring, it'll stop searching. So when measuring continuity, just imagine that the loop has to be closed. So whatever you're trying to measure, a fuse or whatever, has to complete the circuit. And as long as the circuit's complete, you'll get that buzzing noise. So the continuity tester is good for testing fuses or light bulbs or especially something that you can't see, like a relay or something to where you can't actually see it. Of course, this is clear so you can see if the wire's broken there in the middle. But if you're not getting, if you test something and you don't get the tone, of course it's not making a circuit, something's broken inside. So of course it's a good fuse. So unfortunately I can't think of a good application to measure resistance. And for a homeowner I don't really think that's gonna be a big deal. Use the non-contact voltage sensor. Just hold the button. If the sensor detects low voltage, you'll get a green light with a buzzer. And if the sensor senses high voltage, you'll get the red light with the buzzer. So when using this as a non-contact voltage sensor, one thing to remember is low voltage is 24 volts, something like that. And your higher voltage is gonna be 120 or higher. I really like that it has a case that comes with it. Definitely keep your user manual with a multimeter in case you need to reference it. I do really like this multimeter. It comes with a lot of great features. Of course, you do need to know what you're doing. Electricity is dangerous and it's something that you need to understand before you actually start going and doing the work. But at least instead of sitting there switching between dials and things like that, this one's more automatic. And so it's gonna help you a little bit more that way to where you can focus on the work that you're doing and less on setting the voltmeter. I went online and I looked at the price of this multimeter on Amazon. This thing is $9.99. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these. Even if you don't have plans to use it right now, but you maybe want to use it in the future, just go ahead and get one. I've noticed with a lot of the tools that I've gotten, I don't know if I'm gonna use them, like some of the welders and things that I've gotten, I'll go ahead and get them maybe use them once or twice, and then I start realizing that now that I have them, I use them a lot more often. So I greatly appreciate everyone who has supported our channel. I thank you for watching this video. And if you ever see us doing any projects and you think, hey, there's a tool or a product that I think would be great for that application, 
please let us know. We'd be happy to put it on the channel just to help us out and also help everyone else out. Be sure to share this video or other videos with others if you think it'll help them, and we appreciate you watching.